Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're diving into five powerful Excel functions that you absolutely need to know in 2025. These functions are game changers for analyzing and summarizing data efficiently. I'll walk you through each function step by step using real world examples from the data sets I've prepared. So let's get started. Let's begin with the group by function. In this example, we have a data set that lists sales figures for different salespeople across four quarters. The data is organized in three columns, the salesperson's name in column B, the quarter in column C, and the sales amount in column D. Now, let's say we want to calculate the total sales for each salesperson. Traditionally, we would use a combination of functions like unique to extract the distinct salesperson names into one column, followed by sum if to calculate the total sales for each salesperson in another column. Then, we drag the formula down for all the salespeople to get the results. But have you ever wished for a simpler way to achieve this without writing multiple formulas or creating a pivot table? That's exactly where the group B function comes in. It simplifies the entire process and gives you the results in just one step. To create the formula, we start with an equal sign, type group by, and then select the range B5 to B20 for the names. Next, we select the range D5 to D20 for the sales values. And finally, we specify that we want to sum the grouped values. Once we press enter, Excel calculates the total sales for each salesperson and displays the results in column F. Isn't that amazing? It's a quick and efficient way to summarize data. Next, we have the pivot by function, which is perfect for creating pivot table-like summaries directly in your worksheet. In this example, we have a data set that includes sales data for different salespeople broken down by year and quarter. Let's say we want to create a summary table that shows the total sales for each salesperson by year. To do this, we use the pivot by function. First, we start with an equal sign, type pivot by, and then select the range B5 to B20 for the salesperson names. Next, we select the range C5 to C20 for the years, and finally, the range E5 to E20 for the sales values. We also specify that we want to sum the sales values. Once we press enter, Excel generates a pivot-like table that displays the total sales for each salesperson across the years. The results are shown in columns G to K. This function is incredibly useful for creating quick summaries without needing to insert a full pivot table. Now, let's move on to the percent of function. This function is great for calculating the percentage contribution of each value to a total. Typically, we calculate percentages by dividing each specific subdata value by the total value and then dragging the formula down to apply it to all the rows. But what if you need a quicker and more efficient way to calculate percentages? That's where the percent of function comes in to save the day. First, we start with an equal sign, type percent of, and then select the sales value in cell C5. Next, we select the entire range of sales values, which is C5 to C20. Once we press enter, Excel calculates the percentage contribution of the value in C5 to the total of all values in the range C5 to C20. We then drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the rows. The results are displayed in column D, showing the percentage contribution of each sale. The fourth function we'll explore is by call, which allows us to perform calculations across columns. In this example, we have a data set that lists monthly sales figures for different salespeople. The sales data is organized in columns C to H, with each column representing a month from January to June. Let's say we want to find the maximum sales value for each month. To do this, we use the by call function. First, we start with an equal sign, type by call, and then select the range C5 to H14, which contains the sales data. Next, we specify that we want to calculate the maximum value for each column. Once we press enter, Excel calculates the maximum sales value for each month and displays the results in row 16 below the data set. This function is incredibly useful for column-wise analysis, saving you time and effort. Finally, let's look at the by row function, which is similar to by call but works across rows. 
Let's say we want to find the maximum sales value for each salesperson across all months. To do this, we use the buy row function. First, we start with an equal sign, type buy row, and then select the range C5 to H14, which contains the sales data. Next, we specify that we want to calculate the maximum value for each row. Once we press Enter, Excel calculates the maximum sales value for each salesperson and displays the results in column J. This function is perfect for row-wise analysis, helping you quickly identify key insights. And that's it for today's tutorial. These five functions, group by, pivot by, percent of, buy call, and buy row, are incredibly powerful abilities that can save you time and make your data analysis more efficient. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips and tricks.